It's time for our press review. Alison Sargent is here on set. Guess what we're talking about in the press review? Could it be those uh, French elections? Of course, the uh, newspapers here in France are full of them, aren't they, Alison? They sure are, Stuart. We can um, look at the two big takeaways from these elections on the front page of West France today. This was record abstention and an environmentalist wave. Uh, West France is one of several papers that's really sounding the alarm over that record, that record abstention of almost 60 percent. Uh, they link it to the exceptional circumstances circumstances we saw this year. The second round delayed by three months. People who may have been sort of anxious about the coronavirus. Um, still, the paper says it really is a blow to democracy and can't be purely linked to these circumstances. And they think it is something that maybe needs to be worried about. Yeah, big worry about the abstention, but still a big, big night for the Greens. I mean, they did take, didn't they, a series of towns and cities across France. They did. And you can see the faces of some of these new mayors on the front page of Aujourd'hui en France today. Uh, from left to right, we see the new mayors of Marseille, Lyon, Strasbourg, Bordeaux, Poitiers, uh, major cities in France. Uh, you might remember that the Greens also did very well in European elections last year. Well, for Aujourd'hui en France, uh, their continued success in these municipal elections is really confirmation that environmentalism isn't just some sort of minority fantasy movement. It's really growing only stronger, uh, propelled by a collective awakening, they say. Um, a crashing wave that has resuscitated the left. That's according to Le Figaro, uh, which can't be happy about this mm. uh, resuscitation of the left because the Figaro is, of course, a right-wing uh, newspaper. Uh, they write that France's left is really rebuilding um, and for the paper, President Macron uh, should strategize by bracing himself by doubling down on seeking support from the center and the right. Uh, business paper L'Opinion also thinks Macron should start to be worried about his party's future. Um, in this cartoon, we see Macron is complaining about the planned um, obsolescence of modern technology and we can see behind him that modern robot that was his centrist en marche, a sort of new techno a new party <laughs> in a way. Um, his new movement is starting to look a little bit obsolete Just itself. A little bit clapped out, doesn't it? Left-wing papers, meanwhile, they're really uh, reveling in the uh, National Ruling Party's poor results, aren't they? Yeah, they are, Stuart. They're, they're gloating, uh, really. We can take a look at the front page of communist paper, L'Humanité. Uh, their headline here says, Macronism takes a punch from the left. They call it a total failure for his party, and they make it a little bit personal. Uh, they say it doesn't only have to do with enthusiasm for environmentalism, but for uh, l'humanité, it also has to do with Emmanuel Macron's own unpopularity. Uh, Libération, unsurprisingly, I think, has sort of the best front page today. Uh, L'écologie en marche, environmentalism on the move, which is, of course, a pun on Macron's party name, La République en marche. Uh, the paper says that the Greens, allied with the left, have really taken the torch of political renewal away from Macron, because um, that torch was, of course, once held by his centrist movement. Uh, Liberation is really celebrating the excess of environmentalists, which they think really got a boost from the lockdown when people sort of got to slow down and examine their consciences. And finally, talking of lockdowns and the coronavirus pandemic, we're going with a story about uh, somewhat extreme measures. This is in Uzbekistan, isn't it, uh, Alison? Um, taking to reassure tourists there, that, aren't they? That's right. So a lot of countries are really trying to find a way to get tourists to come back to attract them, to reassure them that it's safe to travel in the midst of this global pandemic. Well, taking this into account, Uzbekistan is promising to give 3,000 US dollars to wow. anyone who catches the coronavirus <laughs> while traveling there. So, of right. course, it's a way of showing how confident they are that um, they're not going to actually have to pay any tourists because they don't think anyone is going to get the virus traveling there. Um, I just wanted to say that for any wild souls who are thinking about going to Uzbekistan just to catch the virus and maybe cash in on that money, um, it's worth noting that $3,000 is the estimated cost of health care um, for the COVID-19 if you do catch it in Uzbekistan. So definitely not worth the risk. Um, no. I think a, a more <laughs> extreme step for countries would maybe to be to pay people just to come. Yeah, exactly. You'd have to pay for the flights as well. So yeah. on top of that, Definitely you would lose out.